I think that the uh, easiest thing to grow is also the best thing to grow and that is this stuff right here and so all of these herbs are just weeds you know and they grow like it too so you don't need much fertilizer at all I do fertilize sparingly I use about half strength concoction of this water soluble fertilizer they don't need much I've experimented with all different types of pots and I can tell you over the years I found that these three gallon pots right here are probably the best size for getting uh, the big plants yeah so here's what the pot looks like Yep, three gallons and then I fill it with with the good stuff and so this is just straight peat moss which is probably the most expensive stuff but it really hangs on to the water and uh, really hangs on to the fertilizer I've got drainage holes here and I, I water them as, as much as possible um, you can't overwater them if you've got these big holes so here's the stand that I use uh, this is made out of two by fours and one by fours and it's just sturdy enough to hold these pots so uh, don't need it to, to over engineer it but um, with water in it there's a lot of weight on here but if you build it with bracing it should be strong enough to hold so it, it has this stair step design here so yeah you can see what that looks like I think we built the whole thing with a table saw but any proficient woodworker should be able to build a stair step design and it organizes everything and you don't have to worry about weeds not all herbs grow well in pots but the ones that do grow well are probably basil sage tarragon chives thyme rosemary parsley mint and whatever else you can get to grow also don't forget about oregano that's one of the easiest things to grow but it's pretty powerful so don't put too much on your food all right so growing herbs it's the easiest thing I think that that anyone can grow and and, and you can be successful doing it uh, you, you can't water them too much if you use good pots and, and and good potting mix fertilize sparingly shouldn't have too much of a problem with uh, with plant disease and uh, I can tell you that after a while of cooking with herbs um, anything else that doesn't have your fresh herbs in it is probably gonna be a, <laughs> a disappointment so uh, yeah be ready for that so all right see ya